And as we continue to track those community driven COVID-19 cases in the coastal bend, we're also keeping up with the cases being reported out of our local jails and prisons. The current number for active cases in prisons across the coastal bend is 45. A majority of those cases are employees at McDonald, Garza West, Glossenbrenner and the Federal Correctional Institution in Three Rivers. At the Nueces County Jail, the last time there was an active case was September 24th, and their last major outbreak was July 5th. And although the local prison and jail COVID cases seem to be going down, strict visitation procedures are still in place, including the suspension of in-person visits for inmates. Our Mariah Gallego shares the story of a family who's being impacted by that decision. It's really taken a toll on families and my mom and not being able to see who we want to see in there. And of course, just to make sure they're OK. A woman who asked to remain anonymous says her family hasn't been able to see their loved ones who's behind bars at the Nueces County Jail because of the coronavirus precautions. I just feel it's so inhumane. It's so cruel that it's been six, almost eight months since February, and we've not been able to see any of our loved ones. Texas sheriffs have their hands tied as they're continuing to follow this order handed down from Governor Greg Abbott. The order states this suspension is in effect until terminated by the governor's office or until the pandemic disaster declaration expires. It's been months. Everybody's opening up slowly considering that we've been open. Why are inmates? treated any different that it's a secured facility is my big concern. But this family member says she doesn't think it's fair that orders still in effect after seeing the case numbers lower and just seeing them and I mean that human interaction and we're missing that. She says she's been in contact with the Nueces County Sheriff and Governor Greg Abbott's office and hopes to receive more answers as Texas continues to reopen. Mariah Gallegos, 3 News.